Yo, what is up YouTube, it's your boy Slick, and I'm going to bring you guys a brand new YouTube video talking about Badger's um, Discord Chat API. Uh, it's Badger's Discord Chat, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so today I'm going to show you guys how to set this up uh, through another server that I'm helping work on right now. It's going to be Epicenter RP. If you guys want the uh, want the link, look at it in the description of the video, it'll be there. Uh, get straight in, getting straight into this, uh, it's not too hard of a script, or hard of something to find, you're just going to come to GitHub. Search it up. I'll also link this in the description. This is going to be his Discord, uh, his Badger Discord API. One of the scripts you'll need for this to work, as well as his Ace Perms, which will all be linked in the description. Uh, I have a. I'll be making videos on how to set those up as well. Um, if you guys would like to see those, I'll post those and um, probably put them up on little cards and at the end of, at the end of the video if you need assistance with that. So um, what you're going to do is first things first, we're going to open this up. We're going to go Discord chat. Uh, Badger, just something along those lines. And then you're going to say Badger Chat Roles, uh, Discord Ace Perms as a relative script that you'll need with, to, for this to work. And you'll see Jared Scar Discord uh, Chat Roles right here, 5M script. And this will be right here, everything that you need. Um, real simple stuff. Um, and you're just going to download this. Once you download this, it'll come in a file that looks similar to this, if not the same. Um, and you'll just go straight into the config. So now I've already have, already have this open, we'll just go ahead and open this here. And this is going to be his Discord chat API, or his Discord API, um, just to give you some, some, guys something in relative with this. Um, how this is going to work is you're going to, um, I have this set top to bottom, or sorry, bottom to, yeah, top to bottom just as you should. This is going uh, bottom to top, or yeah, bottom, however you want to, <laughs> however you want to say it. Um, so... Uh, well, it's going uh, top, it's going bottom priority to top priority, there we go, and top priority to bottom. So, opposite sides, that's fine, just make sure you're using the correct, you know, uh, the correct roll number with each one. Um, so if you notice, some, uh, some of the rules, some of the, some of the roll names will be different, which is fine here. Uh, so you're going to have, um, community member, here I just have this set to member. And then you got Deputy Chief here, I have this Deputy Fire Chief. And then Assistant Fire Chief, I have this set to just uh, Assistant Fire Chief is here. And then for Fire Chief, obviously Fire Chief. And we do a couple of different things. We can do the uh, San Andreas Fire and Fire and Wildlife Directors, you know, some of the other things. If you guys do anything different, that's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly laid out like this, anything you want really. Um, just as long as it has the same layout, this, um, and as long as you're following the process, this should all work just fine. Uh, if you scroll down through the script, you're going to see... Um, that you're able to do certain colors. Now you got to keep in mind with something here. There's only uh, you can't use um, like the color red. This uh, this script comes with something called staff chat. Pretty much, it's an in-game staff chat that you can use to, to communicate with other staff members who are also online. So uh, any Discord chat role that you give um, the the color red to, which will be your up one, that gives them access to staff chat. Now here you see that uh, I, I have mine disabled. Um, just for the simple fact of for uh, this server mainly uses um, what is it uh, our Discord for staff chat, which is what the owners wanted. So I have this uh, this part of the script disabled completely, and I'll, I'll allow the the fire chief and just uh, safer to use the one up because it makes sense for them. Um, <clears throat> so if you come down through here and you keep scrolling, you're gonna see you have emojis you can use. Uh, we have a lot of these here, actually. Uh, there's a pretty good bit. Um, if you want to, you can add more to this list. Just if you have other developers that say, "Hey, um, you're able to use more." <sighs> Excuse me. You're able to use more. Um, you're able to use more emojis than what you see on this list. That's fine. Um, you can do that. Just make sure you're following this concept. Or you can uh, you can use them. You can use the link that I'm going to put in the description as well of this, of this video that you're able to go to, and you can use any list um, or any emoji on there. Just search up what you need and see if they have it. Um, anytime it has a box around this like like this, that means it's going to work. It'll be fine. And make sure you have it all spaced out. So if you see like right here after each one of the rolls, I have at least a space over and then a space after the end markings, other quotations. Basically, what this allows us to do, if you don't do it like this, and you backspace that, anyone with the tier one donator top roll, uh, and in chat will show, let's say it'll all be like compressed together. So this right here, this little line, it won't show in the chat. 
that does, that's the end mark that's whatever the um, so this tells this one to stop and anything after that is the player's name so without that little space it'll all be pushed together as one um, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else I need to discuss with this uh, any of these any of these other colors here that you guys want to use uh, be my guest you're all good to do so none of these other colors have special permissions other than the red one you can do RGB yellow this is actually a pretty cool one uh, that you can use um, so with these, uh, you can, well, the way you'll set it up is you'll do, uh, the, the combination here, you can do up arrow three, so you'll do up arrow, we'll see, you'll do up arrow three here, and then you'll do up arrow two after, with a comma, and then you'll do up arrow, up arrow four, and then leave the comma out. And then it'll make the name multi, like multicolored, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do those for your donator tiers, or you can do Rainbow Fool, which is all of the colors, which is pretty legit. Uh, I've seen a couple servers use that. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much this script. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Right now, I don't have a test server that I can work on, but if you guys are interested in, to see this in use, you guys can head over to Epicenter RP, where this um, this is actually their roles and everything like that, and you guys can jump in, see anything anything from this point on that uh, that I make on this video, unless discussed at a further point that I show will be in Epicenter RP for you guys to use, try out, test, whatever. Um, here soon, I'm going to be working on Badger Discord's... Um, vehicle whitelist which is one of his better whitelist scripts once that video is done I will put that as a card that comes up on the end uh, on the end of the video you guys are just able to click on it and go to it it's one of the best whitelist scripts you can use that works really well with Badger Discord API etc and that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and head on out of here if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to those as soon as possible if you guys have any recommendations, any issues with uh, anything else that you guys would like to see me work on, you'll also leave that in the comments and I'll get around to it. Alright.